गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास लास्ट क्लास आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट चैप्टर फोर मूविंग अहेड विथ फ्लैश सी एस थ्री आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टूल्स देन की फ्रेम फ्रेम्स हाउ टू एड साउंड हाउ टू रिमूव अ साउंड सो टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट मास्क इन फ्लैश देन वी विल डू द बुक एक्सरसाइज वर्कशीट वन टू थ्री यू हैव टू डू इन बुक and worksheet 4 5 you have to do in notebook so today we will complete worksheet 1 2 3 4 5 so let's start so everyone take out your book and open page number 54 about a mask so let us create a mask effect where the text on the stage is visible through a moving circle only the process followed for this is given below so what is the process first one in the first layer create a colored background and white add a layer above it and create a circle that moves across the string across the text using the motion twin method so now make this layer a mask for the layer below it the first layer so make this layer a mask layer below it now in the movie the circle will seem to create a torch light effect on the text and background the circle you have created it will make a torch light effect now creating a mask follow the steps to create a mask open a new flash document select a background color for the stage from the background color button in the properties inspector so open a new flash document then select a any color you can choose select a background color for the stage from the background now select the text tool and type the required text on the stage in layer 1 and format the text as required caterpillar to butterfly so you can format to make the setup look static for a long period insert a frame in 30th box of the timeline using insert timeline and frame option so in this way you can insert a frame insert then timeline then frame option insert a new layer by clicking on the insert layer button in the newly added layer layer 2 drag a circle and create the motion twin so that it moves it seems to move from the beginning of the text to the end of the text so you can drag the circle so it seems it is going from the beginning and cutting across it right click on a layer to a shortcut menu appears now click on the mask option click the layer icon will change to a mask layer icon also the layer icon of the layer below it will change to the mask layer icon now also the layer icon of the layer below it will change to the mask layer icon test the movie by using the control test movie or pressing control enter key so test the movie by using control the area that comes under the circle will only visible so the area that comes under the circle will only visible publishing the flash movie The publish option of the flash is designed for presenting animation on the web. The publish command creates flash layer dot swf file and an HTML document that contains flash player file. So publish option is designed for presenting an animation on the web. So the publish command. publishing the flash movie when we ready to deliver our movie to an audience we must publish the .fla file which is default extension of the saved flash file to another so let us learn about the file format in which a movie can be published flash.swf flash format saves the file in the .swf format remember that .swf is the final internet version of the flash movie publishing a dot swf does not replace your normal fla file 
now publishing the flash file flash movie the html format creates an html page to house your flash movie the html page is kept in same folder that your flash movie is saved in so the extension of html is hypertext markup language windows projector exe windows projector creates a stand alone flash projector that runs without the help of a browser or plugin this option is really useful for making your presentation so html in higher classes you will learn about html it is used for creating a web page or website so how to publish a movie the publish movie is required to format this steps open the file menu select publish setting option now select formats in which you want to publish your movie now click on the publish button now your movie has been published the movie will be published in the file format click on the folder icon with the specific format or type or check where the published file is going to be stored now your chapter over one activity is given that is your homework you have to complete that activity let's recall and terms to learn so let's recall the eye dropper tool helps you to copy the fill and stroke attributes from an object the free transform tool allows you to scale skew and change a shape in a number of ways symbols are like reusable objects in flash any object on the stage can be converted into a symbol in motion twinning you draw the major steps of the animation in two keyframes flash software files fills the in between frames with intermediate images automatically to create an image now terms to learn no in shape twinning a mask limits the view of the layer below so it so you are able to see only a person of the image at a time the publish command creates flash player dot swf file and the html document that houses that dot swf now terms to learn first timeline the main toolbar in flash that consists of frames keyframes and layer so timeline is the main toolbar in flash scene a scene is like a clip of movie that can be treated as an entire single unit layers are the part of flash timeline they are like transparent sheets that may contain objects related to the same scene frame small rectangular boxes in a layer each frame may contain a very short step of an animation keyframe this are frames marked with dots a black dot indicates a keyframe containing vital step of animation a white dot means the keyframe is empty symbol a reusable graphic button or movie clip created in the flash instance the copy of a flash symbol is called an instance so let's start worksheet 1 so take children take out your book open page number 57 fill in the blanks with the help of help box dash tools allows you to resize move rotate an object so which tool free transform tool allows you to resize move rotate an object the dash is a panel that shows properties of the text or object selected on the stage that is property inspector now you can draw a polystar a star in flash using the polystar tool the dash option of the modify menu allows you to break apart a selected text or object on the stage that is break apart the dash is a reusable object stored in the flash library symbol is a reusable object stored in the flash library and the property inspector is a panel that shows the properties of the text 
or object selected on the stage so worksheet one again I am repeating the answer first answer is free transform second one is property inspector third one is polystar fourth one break apart fifth one symbol now worksheet two take the correct answer in the box which of these is not a flash cs3 tool panel so which one is not flash cs3 panel that is recolor recolor eyedropper text recall recolor which options of the modify menu allows you to convert text character into individual images library symbols and break apart the answer is break apart which option cannot be performed with the layer in flash resizing deleting and hiding so the answer is resizing you cannot resize so work uh, worksheet 2 uh, first answer is a second answer is c and third answer is a resizing tool now fourth one which of these is not a part of the flash timeline layers frames and stage so which of these is not a part of timeline so layers are a part of timeline frames are part of timeline or stage so stage is not a part of timeline which of these type of animation that can be created in flash that can be not which of these is not a type of animation that is motion twin and shape twin we can create that is cell animation the polystar tool can help you to draw polygons and stars with maximum of 20 sides 45 side and 32 sides so answer is 32 side again I am repeating the answer fourth one C fifth one C and sixth one C now worksheet 3 write T for true and F for false statement in the box in dot SWF file extension SWF stands for small web format so the answer is true an instance is a copy of symbol on the stage it is also true a scene in the flash movie cannot contain more than three layers it is false it can contain more than three layers fill anything on the stage can be converted into a symbol that is true twin animation is the traditional style of animation where you need to draw every frame of animation so it is false twin animation is the traditional type of animation where you need to draw every frame of animation this is false the free transform tool helps you to copy textile this is also false again I am repeating first one true second one true third one false fourth one true fifth one false sixth one false now worksheet 4 answer in a word or sentence so what is a symbol a symbol is a reusable graphic object stored in the flash library so again I am repeating a symbol is a reusable graphic object stored in the flash library what is an instance an instance is a copy of symbol on the stage now third one what is a layer a layer is like a transparent sheets that can contain objects related to the same scene now fourth one define a keyframe a keyframe is a frame that contains a key image in the animation when an object begins or ends an action so what is a keyframe a keyframe is a frame that contains a key image in the animation when an object begins or ends an action now fifth one which tool helps you to move objects drawn or imported to the stage free transform tool helps us to move objects drawn or imported to the stage sixth one which tool helps you to copy fill and outline attributes from the flash objects eyedropper tool helps us to copy fill and outline attributes from the flash objects so eyedropper tool helps you to fill copy fill and outline attributes from the flash object what does property inspector show 
so property inspector shows the properties of the currently open document or any object of the tool selected in the document again i am repeating property inspector shows the properties of the currently open document or any object tool selected in the document now next worksheet 5 answer the following question in 2 to 3 sentences what is the difference between key frame and frame so what is a frame it is given in terms to learn also you can write to frame and key frame is given so you can write a frame is a small rectangular box in a layer that contains a very short step of animation whereas key frame is a frame that contains a vital step of animation where some changes takes place what is the difference between motion twin and shape twin question number two motion twin is a kind of animation that enables the movement of an image from its position in the first keyframe to its position in the second keyframe whereas shape twin is a kind of animation that enables the smooth transition of the first image into the second image on two different keyframes so motion twin that enables the movement of an image from its position in the first keyframe to its position in the second keyframe shape is a kind of animation that enable smooth transition of the first image into the second image on two different keyframes third one what do you understand by masking effect and flash movie masking limits the view of the layer below it we can apply a masking effect to a layer we can see only the portion of the layer that is being masked now question number four what is the use of free transform tool the free transform tool is used to resize, move, rotate an object drawn or imported on the stage. Now fifth one, how will you convert an object drawn on the stage into a symbol? This is the last answer. So children, you have to write worksheet 4, 5 in notebook. Worksheet 1, 2, 3 you have to do in book. And you have to write the terms to learn and let's recall also a notebook. Follow the steps to convert an object drawn on the stage into a symbol. Select the object drawn on the stage. Click on the modify convert to symbol option. The convert to symbol dialog box appears. Type the name of the second step. Type the name of the symbol in the name box. Select either the movie clip or graphic option to define the symbol type. Click on OK button. So I have told all the answers. Worksheet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So children, your homework is you have to do the question answers. Worksheet 4, 5 in notebook and worksheet 1, 2, 3 in book. And you will get the PDF also. You can write the answers by seeing the video also. So that's all for today. See you in next class.